What's going on guys? I'm going to give you some important tips of how to get strong inside of the elusive realm. So the thing is, is like when you're clicking to choose this, depending on the echo that you chose, look at the element that's on that because that's how you unlock the levels of the echo, what your power is in here. So for example, this says 11 out of 18 because when I choose from these options, I'm choosing the elements here. This is why you have a refresh attempt to see what you want that's better too. If you feel like this this benefits you here, it can help too. But building this right uh, allows you to do way more damage and get perks. So, for example, like you see, I already have two levels on this, right? If you look down at the bottom, it tells you the choices that you've chosen. So, if I go over to uh, attribute right up here, it's going to tell you unlock shapeshift into crownless. So you can go right into that. Unlock the crownless resonant skill, strengthening the transform shape. A state so like when you go in that you notice like if you use it he'll just beat the hell out of a mob do that uh powerful hit and then go out of it but when you unlock the next state you're able to stay in it and run around and take no damage think about that on certain bosses if people are not like masters of dodging and you can just continuously do a lot of damage it gives you an attribute overview here as well you can click on that and scroll down if you want to see everything that your character has uh and then going down this tells you what you chose for your character that matters too. what resonant skill you choose when you get to that screen and what you get next and as you scroll you can scroll down you could see uh what you could get by going down even farther and what it requires obtain extra crown power by defeating the enemy strengthen the shapeshift state so it's going to be even more powerful and then crownless resonance liberation strengthen the shapeshift state i mean it's just going to do so much damage and remember when you're in that you're not taking any damage at all and you're doing a shit ton of damage. You can also go to the metaphor and you can see what you've gotten. These are also important too because it's how you power up your character. And if you feel like you're so good at this or you can do the damage, you can skip Verena and just have damage supports. But the reason why, like I said, if you're new to this, I recommend getting her because I, you know, I played a lot of this also on Honkai, this type, is that you have the option to heal yourself while you have a strong DPS to the side. But if you just want to go full damage on both, depending on what you want to do, you know you can but this is also important as well so those are some tips to definitely help you and this stuff matters guys trust me so like i said like if i wanted to do a refresh attempt here to continue working on this i do that and guess what i got an error right here effect so now by checking this you see this checks out it's one of the two that you choose confirmed and that, well, actually not one or two. That one's checked out. Now I got to get the 18. Sorry about that. But yeah, that's basically what you want to do. So, you know, and whatever you choose here, you know. You see my DN, I mean. Build him right. This is what I'm talking about right here. Look at his damage. By powering it up. I mean, I didn't even need to do that. But I'm telling you, you rip through bosses too. It's pretty fucking strong going here again if you really are just trying to build that like i said some of these are also very good if you feel like you just want to get that and this to the left is it's fine enough it's fine but on the later stages like level 70 and 65 that's important so yeah those are tips guys like subscribe if you like this type of content i'll be bringing you more and i'll be playing this game for a long time so you'll see me here guys all right peace out hopefully this helps